Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome back to another video. I wanted to do a quick walkthrough on some changes I've made to the Darvis box. You can see up here in the upper left, I'm working with version 9.0. And the basic idea of Darvis box is when we hit a new high, if we have three consecutive bars that don't break that high, we mark that as the high of a box. The same idea applies at the bottom. If we have a low and we have three consecutive bars that don't break that low, that defines the bottom of the box. And at that point, we're waiting for one of two things to happen. We either break above the top of the box, which happened right here, and in that case, the box is green. Or if we look at this example here, we break below the box, and then in that case, the box is shown in red. Over here on the right, we have an active Darvis box, and we know that by the gray background. And we also have relevant price information. So we have the price at the top right here, and the price at the bottom is shown right here. And the percentages shown represent from the close up to the top of the box is 2%, and from the close to the bottom is 14%. An additional feature that I've added is in the alerts menu. So if you select an alert, choose the Darvis box, you'll now see that there's three different options. We can look for a break above the Darvis box. So in this case right here, if the price breaks above the high, or we can look for a break below. So if the price goes all the way down and breaks through the bottom of the box, and we can also look for a new Darvis box. So when a new Darvis box is formed, based on the criteria that I mentioned at the start of the video. We can also do some interesting screening with this new update. Here's the Pine Screener. You can see we have our Darvis box selected and we can do three different types of scans. We can look for a break above the Darvis box, a break below, or a new Darvis box. So let's go ahead and choose this option to look for a break above. We'll hit the scan option. Let's take a look at Datadog. You can see right here, here's the previous Darvis box, and on the most current bar, we broke above the high of that Darvis box. Let's go over here and take a look at breaking below a Darvis box. So if we choose the scan option, and in this case, let's take a look at SYF, and that's right here. This was the previous Darvis box. We broke below, so the box is red, and this is the most current bar. And let's take a look at one last option. We can also search for new Darvis boxes. So if we hit the scan option and we take a look at the list, you can see we have nine symbols. Let's take a look at STNE. And you can see here, we started a new Darvis box and this is the price information. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found that helpful. The Darvis box is a free indicator available on TradingView and I hope you check it out.